I might have overdone it on the jalapenos. <laughs> Hello, I'm Samantha Senevaratna. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make one pan shrimp tacos. Very family friendly, and my four year old loves them. Let's get started. The thing I like the most about tacos is how easy they are. Quick to cook, quick to clean up. You know what else is easy? Click that subscribe button for more recipes like this one. This is gonna have all those different elements, smoky, salty, sweet. We want the oven to be at broil, 550 degrees, with the rack about six inches away from the heat source. And now we can make our marinade. So that starts with about two tablespoons of chipotle chili powder, a little bit of red pepper flakes. I'm gonna add about a pinch. We're also going to add a couple of teaspoons of granulated sugar, salt, and a little bit of olive oil. And last but not least, we definitely need this lime. A little bit of acidity, a little bit of sweetness. So we're taking the zest off of our lime. That's just that dark green part of the lime. Always remember, zest your lime before you juice it. The other way around is a lot harder. Trust me, I know. <laughs> we only need about half of the lime for the juice. Be sure to save that other half for your cocktails. That's all our marinade has, super simple. Comes together in a second. Mmm. So we'll toss these guys in here. Mmm. How good does that look already? Shrimp are so great because they cook so fast, but also they just absorb so much flavor. I like to keep frozen shrimp in my freezer at all times because they defrost really quick too, so you basically have a protein at the ready anytime. So now our shrimp is ready. We're gonna set that aside, let it marinate, and I am going to cut my pineapple. This is gonna be a beautiful contrast to sort of the spicy, delicate flavor of the shrimp, a little bit sweet, go with that spice. So what I'm gonna do now is salt my pineapple, which might seem a little bit strange, but what it's gonna do is draw out a little bit of the liquid, a little bit of those sugars, so that they caramelize a little bit in the oven. This is just gonna taste good. Now all we have to do is cook it. So I have a rimmed baking sheet here. It's lined with a little bit of foil, just to make that cleanup job that much easier. Put our shrimp on one half. Put our pineapple on this side. So now my shrimp and pineapple can go under the broiler. It's gonna take about five or six minutes for our shrimp to get all the way cooked through. We're looking for a little bit of caramelization. I have some little corn tortillas here. I'm just gonna put them right over the flame on my stove here, just to sort of warm them up and soften them, give them some little charry bits that are gonna taste so good with those shrimp. And in the meantime, I'm going to cut up some lime, an essential addition to our tacos. I'm gonna take this extra half and just put it over my onions. You can add a little bit of lime juice to sort of quick pickle them. And if your kids are anything like mine, pickles always, always win. So now that this is ready, I'm gonna go check on my shrimp and pineapple. My shrimp and pineapple are done. They look amazing, all caramelized and crispy in bits. Now all I have to do is build a couple. Tacos are so great because not only can you very easily make them for two people, you can just double this mixture, triple this mixture, and make it for a crowd in no time. So to top my tacos today, I have a sliced avocado. I also have some onions and a little bit of cheese. I think that tacos are kind of like snowflakes. No two are ever exactly alike. They're very customizable, which is always fun, and which is always great with kids. Mmm, let's put some jalapenos on this one. Yum. I'm just gonna chow down. It's gonna be messy. That's the fun, right? Mmm. The sweetness from the pineapple is so lovely with that chipotle. Let's add some cilantro to all of these because that will just make it so much more beautiful. Mmm. Okay, let's get another bite. Mm. That's so delicious. And it's very spicy, but very good. And the queso fresco really mellows out the spice, so it actually works really well together. Thanks so much for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe for more recipes like this one. And go out there and make some tacos. Mmm.